And welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here with the continuation of our XCOM 2 Tactical Legacy Expansion Chronicle, where we are covering the gap. We're getting this up on the on the channel for story reasons. It covers the gap between the ending of XCOM 1 and the opening of, of XCOM 2. So this will set up a future chronicle of XCOM 2, a highly modded XCOM 2. I'll speak more about that in that chronicle intro. Okay, let's hit continue. And we are moving into mission 5 of 7. So uh, we're at 108,000. So we're still in the bronze category. I mean, I'm not too concerned with this, but it is nice to know. Things started to open up as we got away from town. We made a beeline straight for the farm in the hopes of getting a few hours rest. We knew at this point the aliens were going to come looking for us eventually. We had left a path of destruction that only pointed one direction. I just hoped we'd catch a breather before the next round of reinforcements showed up. We rolled into a nice homestead. Big red barn and all that. Kinda reminded me of the old family farm back in Kansas. But that's another story. And unfortunately this one leads us right back into another big fight. In retrospect, we probably should have avoided any landmarks. But we were all worn out and not exactly thinking straight. All right. The guy who voice acts Bradford is really good. All right, Central, move up to here. What the heck? Move into Overwatch. And a deadlock. Well, uh, I don't really know yet. Um, let me put deadlock right here for now, but I'm thinking I'm going to eventually want him up on this roof. I just, I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Is the main contingency going to be inside this barn? Probably not, but if it is, I want deadlock right here. Will do. Okay, Rusty, move up to here. Already there. One, two, three. What the heck? Oh, that's right. They have little sectoids inside them. Wow, man, Bradford's looking pretty cool. Okay, Titan Ortega. Shield wall, plasma grenade, blaster bomb, guided blaster bomb to a target area. He sounds like he's a mech. Yeah. Let's move him to That's here. So... Let's uh, set a bomb off right here. Let's blast him. And that's cool. All right, Star Man. Okay, I go. Let's put Star Man on Overwatch. Got it covered. Wolf Mother. That's a pretty cool name. Jose Luis Rodriguez. All right, uh... I 
guess I'm gonna set you up right here, Jose. And put you on Overwatch. Overwatch. Eleven. Hit for eleven. That's pretty hard hit. Alright, Wolf Mother's gonna need to provide some healing there. Yes. Not that one. Watch your check your fire, star man. Did you see that? She traced all the way over to friendly fire. Oh no, chrysalids. I hate these things, they're gross. to find a quiet spot to rest for a bit. But we had kicked the hornet's nest, and they weren't about to let us sit around and reminisce about the old days. We're getting hit from two vectors. I don't like that. Um, let me move to somebody else. First of all, I am going to need to provide healing to central... <laughs> Nine hit points healed. Okay. I'm trusting you here. Missed. What about deadlock? What can you do? Hundred percent shot on this chrysalid. You have a shot on a couple other guys as well. So let's use deadlock to take down the chrysalid. Not too shabby. And rusty. Uh, can take a shot on this chrysalid with a chance to knock it down. Uh, took most of it, but it's still alive. Okay, that's going to free Bradford up, I think, to go ahead and move to here. These chrysalids are not, obviously, they're not ranged. They are melee, so I'm not even opening him up to a flank, I don't think. I'm just getting him into full cover. What is that suit doing? Blade Master, Blade Storm, Shadow Strike, while concealed, gain plus 25 bonus aim and plus 25 bonus crit hit chance when attacking enemies. That is redonkulous. Shadow Step does not trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. And untouchable. If you score a kill during your turn, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Well, that's nice. Barely got it. Is that sectoid still alive? No, he's dead. <laughs> okay, the chrysalid has retreated. Andromedons were a surprise. We didn't know what to make of that diving suit they wear. Especially when it kept fighting, even with that thing inside splayed out the front. 
45%. Nice hit. you up to a better position. No, not really. 25%. Let's um, stick you on Overwatch instead. 29%, but I feel confident I can get into a better position here. to take the other position. I keep doing I keep making the same mistake. I'm not paying attention to this area. Okay. 58% chance might knock it down in the dirt too. Did you see that one? Okay, that's what Bradford was talking about. It's still alive. Okay, chrysalid back on the scene. Move, move. All right, all right, knock him down. Yes! Oh, it missed. I can't believe that was a miss. We still grazed it for three. That thing is leaking all over the place, too. It's pretty gnarly. Whoops. The farm was abandoned by the original owners. There wasn't a whole lot left of their barn after the fight. Overwatch confirmed. Sorry, covered. Say so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh nice. Really I love big guns. <laughs> love them. <laughs> All right. Overwatch for tight. Come get some. Well, how about that? I'm still not entirely sure what the aliens did with the tens of millions of cattle and other animals we had across the country before they decided animal husbandry was too risky of a technology for humans to possess. <laughs> I know it's got something to do with those damn Advent burgers. Yeah, it might. I'll get some. Okay, let's bring deadlock up now. Uh, to here. Affirmative. Got it covered. Tell us what you see. Nothing. Okay, so we gotta go this way on the map, I think. Time to motor. I need to do a reload also. Got it, moving. Eh. Dash. Overwatching. With the alien 
it's coming for us directly now. I had my concerns about what we might find at the end of the road. We could have stopped, gone our separate ways, but I wasn't about to break up this thing we had going. Whatever it was. What do you see? Nothing. My eyes are peeled. So, it's whatever's waiting for us is gonna be in this next house, I'm pretty sure. So I wanna do a reload. Back in. And then I wanna move to full cover. Whatever you say. Oh, what was that? Was that deadlock? Oh, I hate that. I wanna get deadlock up top. Okay, uh, we're gonna move you in to, let's see, we're gonna reload. Locked and loaded. And move to here. I guess that'll be okay. Let's rock. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Oh yeah! Affirmative! Covering now! Reloading. Aye, aye. Even after 20 years, we still haven't managed to get back enough of the world to start farming for ourselves again. I've wondered sometimes if that's all part of the Elder's master plan. Get us reliant on their systems then sit back and wait. The younger generations won't have any idea how to survive outside of the city centers. Let's move to here. Location confirmed. All right, I'm going to prep for assault now. Okay, I'll go. Moving to Overwatch. But I don't really want to cross this threshold and open up another pod. So I'm kind of positioning people right along this line. Affirmative, covering now. Starman. Double time. Move to here. And Wolf Mother can Got come it. to here. Oh, that is not what I wanted. We got three big guys here. Well, alrighty then. Um, 100% chance to hit this berserker. That's the end of you. Uh, same deal here. Ugh. Oh my goodness. That should be the end of their turn. Uh, I don't think that he does melee. <laughs> so... What can we do here? What can we do? We can drop to here. You know the 
thought was good. Ah, another shot. 53% chance. One armor, five damage, not bad for a pistol shot. Alright, what do we got? We got hail of bullets. Guaranteed to hit target, but uses a lot of ammo. Uh, yeah, do it. Go through a reload round. Eyes on the prize. I'm on it. Gremlin heal on yourself. This might sting. Eyes heal. Let's rock. I'm watching. Oh, there's no way to get up on this roof. Uh, right. Okay. Move to here. I can handle that. And go ahead and ready to engage. Reload. You need to reload also. Oh yeah, I'm on it. Okay, now the rest of you, you can go ahead and move up a little bit. On the move. I'm on it. Starman. If you say so. On Overwatch. Wolf Mother. Roger that. Get some. Radford. Scanning. Nothing gets past me. Okay. I'm gonna hold you to that. to here take a peek Efforts. 
four soldiers wounded, none killed. So we can see how things are coming together for Bradford. He's, he's pulling guys together. It's not XCOM, but it's the beginnings of... I don't even know if you could say it's a resistance necessarily, but it is one tactical unit um, that is having some effect. Maybe you could say it's the beginnings of a resistance. Five kills, 41 damage. All right, continue. We found some odd weapons on the farm. Not the kind of thing you would normally find on Advent. Or anyone else, for that matter. Let's take the katana. Reaper. Restoration, Serial, uh, Rupture, Saturation Fire, Alien Psy Amp for Starman. Okay, um, I've only got one mission left and I, I don't know if... It should be enough to get me silver if I can score similar to this. But that'll be in the next episode. So this is Aesop Grimm saying thank you for coming by the channel. And I'll see you guys then, where the story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, stay shiny.